Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. All right, so we've got to talk about Donald Trump here for a little bit, and with a heavy focus on all of the dump Trump people. There's a Truth Social post that Donald Trump released that has many conservatives outraged. Oh, Donald Trump claims that he wants to terminate the Constitution. It's a step too far. All the never Trumpers, the dump Trump folks, are buying the narrative hook, line, and sinker, feeding in once again to what seems to be absolute fake news. But this massive explosion or growth of never Trumpers isn't really sitting well with me. You know, there seems to be an element of naivete, possibly ignorance, whatever you want to call it, that continues to remain present at the back of my mind. Are you paying attention? I mean, seriously, are the never Trumpers paying attention? We just saw the release of the Twitter files. And on top of that, we have extra information dropping, suggesting a massive shadow government effort, a deep state effort to suppress information during elections to suppress candidates on the behest of the DNC, and Republicans are getting mad at Donald Trump for venting his frustration over this deeply corrupt system that has dedicated itself to destroying him and frankly destroying you and your political will, somehow Donald Trump's the bad guy? I mean, I can't wrap my head around that. Oh, Donald Trump bad. McConstitution, McConstitution. Are you not seeing the bigger picture? Not to mention this whole thing that all we need to do is dump Donald Trump and then instantly everything is going to go back to normal and Republicans are going to win elections again. I mean, really? After you've seen all of the efforts, everything that Democrats have been doing to absolutely destroy Republicans to slander you, to destroy you, frankly. They've essentially waged war on you. You think that all that needs to be done here is just a little change in candidate and everything's going to go back to normal. I mean, I'm telling you what I'm thinking right now is you got to be out of your damn mind. I feel like this reaction is short-sighted. I feel like people are falling for a distraction. People are falling for another Democrat narrative and ignoring the big picture. You know, this is exactly what they want. Here's Kareem Jean-Pierre when questioned about the Twitter files saying, well, you know, it's just old news and a distraction. Uh, decisions were made to, to censor reporting leading up to the election. My question was, is it the White House view that these decisions were made appropriately in light of what has come out? Which decisions? By whom? By Twitter. By Twitter on... Okay. So, look, we see this as a, a an interesting or a coincidence, if I may, that... Uh, uh, that he would so haphazardly, uh, Twitter would so haphazardly push this distraction. Uh, that is a that is a full of uh, old news, if you think about it. Um, and uh, at the same time, Twitter is facing very real and very serious questions uh, about the rising volume of anger, hate, and anti-Semitism on their platform. You're feeding into exactly what they want. They want the Twitter files and the Biden family's corrupt foreign business dealings to be old news and to be a distraction. And pay attention to Donald Trump who wants to terminate the Constitution. I really would like to get into some of Donald Trump's truth social posts here, but we legitimately cannot. It's against YouTube rules to talk about some of these narratives, and so I literally cannot even show you guys the truth social posts. And if anything, right there, I mean, that adds on to what I'm talking about. Social media companies working with the DNC, working with the FBI to censor political speech to the benefit of one political party, and Republicans are outraged over the media's misrepresentation of Donald Trump's words. Again, what am I thinking right now, you gotta be out of your damn mind. Cowardly conservatives are once again playing directly into the DNC's hand. You know, we're just gonna sit here and pretend that after six years of slander, defamation, destruction, divisive political attacks, phony stories, misrepresented and altered evidence, endless multi-million dollar investigations based on salacious information, manipulation of the algorithms, unfair censorship, after everything, we're gonna pretend as if Donald Trump doesn't have a real reason to be angry? Excuse me, but Donald Trump should be freaking pissed. And you know what? So am I. Yet there are so many people who are just so easily willing to abandon him. What message does that send? I mean, that is what they want. You are playing directly into the Democrat hand. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but we're now getting reports that Liz Cheney, Ron DeSantis, and Elon Musk are now among finalists for Time Person of the Year. Liz Cheney and Ron DeSantis, you say? Do you notice that the media is trying to promote Liz Cheney, the most infamous never Trump.
Trumper, and Ron DeSantis, the supposed heir to the throne, you think it's by accident that they're promoting these two individuals? No, they're trying to get rid of Donald Trump, and people are falling for it hook, line, and sinker. I mean, you're seriously going to sit there and listen to Democrats lecture you about the Constitution? You know, Herschel Walker, Charlie, is unfit for the job, and it's embarrassing. It seems a little racist and condescending uh, in a million different ways. He is um, unmoored. He seems to have a lot of problems, but just intellectually, he's clearly not even remotely close to being up for the job, completely unfit. But I would argue at this point that any Republican that can't say what Donald Trump said is wrong, and I stand up for American values and for our democracy and our Constitution, and I reject what Donald Trump said, and I reject the values and the comments that he is bringing to the table, and I reject him as a candidate. If they can't do that, they are equally as unfit as Herschel Walker. Standing up for the Constitution, says Mika Brzezinski at MSNBC. I mean, if Donald Trump supposedly said what they're accusing him of, that he wants to terminate the Constitution, I mean, you would think that Democrats would be his number one fan. It's been years of Democrats arguing that the Constitution is an archaic document that must be thrown into the garbage. I mean, the first two amendments, the two most important amendments, they adamantly disagree with. Joe Biden has already proved himself to be the most unconstitutional president president of my lifetime, and we're going to pretend as if Donald Trump is a threat to the Constitution. Give me a break. Who is buying this crap? Who is seriously willing to stand on their side and to throw Donald Trump, the former president of the United States, and frankly, a great president, the greatest of my lifetime, and it's not even up for debate, it's not even close. Who's willing to betray that man and side with the biggest hypocrites of all? Oh, well, this goes too far, Donald Trump. You know that Truth Social post that the media purposely misinterpreted and twisted and misrepresented to the public? Oh, that goes too far. Meanwhile, the Democrat shadow cabal that's controlling the flow of information, controlling algorithms, and manipulating low-information susceptible voters. You know those Democrats that are working with foreign spies, paying them to fabricate phony dossiers, which was then used to apply for an illegal FISA warrant to spy on the United States president, to then justify a special counsel investigation, which was then used to illegitimately try to impeach the sitting president of the United States. Oh, that's not something you should be worried about. No, you should be worried about a poorly written Donald Trump truth social post. That's the real threat to my democracy. Wake up. Pay attention. The media is is trying to create a distraction. The Twitter files is one of the biggest corruption scandals ever. And I've seen some reporting that there's particular left-wing news outlets that only devoted seven <laughs> seconds of airtime to reporting on this massive scandal of a lifetime. And of course, it's involving the media, the left-wing media, the DNC. You think it's a coincidence that these media figures and the DNC are now trying to change the topic of conversation on Donald Trump's Truth Social post rather than what's being uncovered. At this point, if you're taking the stance that Donald Trump should be dumped, that it's time to dump Trump. I mean, you have been intellectually compromised. They got you. It's over. You're out of the fight. You gave in, you gave up. And if you think that just moving on from Donald Trump and bringing in the next guy is going to change anything, you are out of your mind. Because the next guy who actually decides to stand up and challenge the status quo, to challenge the corruption, to do something about it, they're going to do the exact same thing to that individual as they're doing to Donald Trump. Nothing's going to change change because once again conservatives are willing to assume the fetal position to roll over and to let democrats walk all over you that's my view that's how i'm looking at this whole thing you know i don't dislike ron DeSantis. i think he's great do i have my doubts that he might just end up being a neocon that he might not actually fight the deep-seated federal agency dnc media and social media corruption yeah i have my doubts i'm not sure if you would actually try to take on that machine but i don't dislike the guy i think he's a political superstar Star. But the idea that the man who sacrificed so much, his public image, his wealth, his family relationships, his interpersonal relationships, his health, I mean, the list goes on. The man who sacrificed everything to take on that corrupt machine, the idea that he should just be dumped because the liberal media told you, because Fox News told you, I just cannot subscribe to that belief. I cannot and I will not. Donald Trump is still the GOAT, period. That's my view. And I think a lot of people are falling for the PSYOP. That's what I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get out of here and I'll see you on the next one.